Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen, and I am a Taurus, Sun, and Venus. Um, we're going to get into our reading before we do. Quick reminder to everybody, and I'm going to say this until it's... Uh, until it's over, probably, in every video. So feel free to skip if you've heard it. But I am offering personal readings and Reiki sessions at this time for half off if you book between now and May 20th, 2024. You have to book in between those dates. And you can book as many as you would like, and they'll all be half off. When you go there, it's going to show the regular retail price. Go ahead and book. I send you an invoice after you book that reflects the half off. And it doesn't have to be just for Tauruses. So if you surround yourself with spiritual people and you feel like they could use a reading, let them know. Whew. All right. Let's see what our overall energy is for the day here. These are timeless. Whenever you come across this, that's when you're meant to hear it. All right, Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy here? What is the message? Please show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy? What is the message for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Nodes? Show me clearly, please. What is the message? What's the overall energy, Divine Source Creator? What is the overall energy? Show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy? Show us clearly, Whoa, that is so many. <laughs> Let's just get one, please, or two. I'll take two, but definitely not ten. There we go. <laughs> that was funny. All right. Oh, I love this. I love this. This is such a beautiful card. It says here, the gift of neutrality. Balance is at work in your life. Yin and yang are opposites in energy, but reside side by side to create the gift of neutrality. Um, I feel like things are finally balancing out for you, Taurus. Um, they're basically showing me the temperance card, right? It's time. It's time to find balance. I think, um, gosh, I'm guilty of it, guys. Oh, I'm so guilty of it. <laughs> so guilty of it. Um, think about it this way. This is this happened to me like a year and a half ago or so. Um, when you meet someone and all you want to do is spend all your time with them, the honeymoon stage, right? And it's great, but you start neglecting other things in your life or vice versa. You're so into work or your job is making you work 80 hours a week or telling you you have to work 80 hours a week. And you're just so out of balance. There's no free time or feels like there isn't any. I feel like you're really coming into a good balance. like And boundaries too. Like telling your boss, I'm not working 80 hours a week. Right? I'm not doing it. Fire me. Fine. Right? Like whatever it is, you are finding this balance of work and play, home life and, you know, uh, free time. But you're really balancing things out right now. Um. But I don't feel like it's being given to you. I feel like you're setting these boundaries right now, which makes sense. 333 three, three on the timer. Um, really, I feel like getting in alignment. Like you're really getting alignment with your head and your heart um, and your soul. And that really does lead you to being that alchemist that is in the temperance card of turning water into wine or turning lead into gold. There's just something very comfortable. This feels comfortable. Feels like, yeah, you know, I, I really, I don't know. I really know how to balance my time. This is about your time. This really is. That's what's coming across so clearly. This is about your time and how you're spending it. Um, I just watched that. I don't know if you guys watched it. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's on Netflix. Um, the blue areas, the blue area, something about the blue areas. And it's this guy who studied longevity, people who are living um, to be 100 or more in different areas of the world. And what were the common denominators of that? And, you know, why were people living longer and happier lives in these certain spots? And I will tell you, one of the major themes was how they spent their time. It was how they spent their time. 
And let's be honest, if uh, you're watching in the U.S., we definitely do not spend our time well. Meaning that, you know, we don't take the siesta in the middle of the day like some countries do, right? Like, this is so much balance coming in. And I feel like, again, you are setting boundaries with your time. And I love it. Good for you. Let's see what we have in the tarot. Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus. What is the message, please? What is the message? Show us clearly here. What is the message? What is the message? I feel like a lot of you are really starting to change your daily uh, routines to make sure you are carving out the time for whatever that is, you know, going to the gym, getting out in nature, you know, taking a nap, whatever it might be, um, studying something that you love, taking time out, you know, making sure you're scheduling time, you know, to read for, you know, 30 minutes on a topic you really love. I mean, it's going to be different for all of you, Taurus, but I, I really like this. Show us clearly what is the message, please. Thank you. So our first card out is the Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah. That that says a lot right there. That really does. Because this is conflict when it's upright. Conflict with your boss. Conflict with, you know, your spouse. Con just conflict. Like, you know, just uncomfortable and not worth it. And I love that it came out in reverse because it's saying, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting my energy into that, right? I'm not putting my energy into 80 hours a week, okay? I'm not. So however that resonates with you, but I, I love it. Show me clearly, please. Thank you. Next, we have the Hierophant. Of course we do. Of course. I love when we show up in our own reading, right? This is the wisdom that you now have to know that balance in life is so important, Okay, it is so, so important. And I think that you're gaining this wisdom um, and you're going to not only gaining the wisdom, but you're going to implement it. And the reason I say that is because we have two fives out and fives are about change, right? We're changing this. I, this is so healthy. This is so good. Oh, I love it. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? Thank you. Six of Wands. Wow. Okay. So we have the Six of Wands that came out with the uh, Ace of Swords. You know, that Ace of Swords is the clarity that you need. It's, it's wielding that sword of saying, I am carving out time for me. I'm going to put balance. It doesn't mean I'm not going to, you know, work and, and pay my bills and do the things that I love. But I'm also going to balance that out with grounding myself, enjoying myself, learning something new. Um, this brings you a lot of happiness because you're taking control of it. Okay, Six of Wands is a victory card, right? This, it's kind of like realizing, it's kind of like realizing like I don't have to do more to make more, if that makes sense. Okay, if that makes sense to you. I don't have, it's, it's, uh, oh, help me spirit, quality over quantity. Quality over quantity, absolutely. In every aspect of what you're doing, whether it's the enjoyment time, the fun time, um, or the work. But yeah, I, I, quality over quantity. Yeah, I love that. Show me clearly, please. What is the message? Thank you. You have here. Sorry, I got to read it. Wow. So you have the King of Cups, Taurus, in reverse with the Three of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this is weird. I feel like the King of Cups is not your energy. I feel like that's others' energy and that they no longer can manipulate you and manipulate your emotions. Think about that. I mean, I had that happen. I swear. Okay. They always have me use my own life. Years and years ago, I worked for a company um, and I loved my boss. She was amazing. 
Okay, she was absolutely amazing. Loved her. But because I had that love for her and that uh, I looked up to her and all those things, she would ask me to work overtime and I always said yes. There was one week where I kid you not, um, I worked almost 100 hours that week. It was like 96 hours. I, it, it, it drained the hell out of me. It exhausted me. And I don't think that she was trying to manipulate me necessarily. She just knew I was the go-to person. And, and I feel like you're not letting people guilt you into things. I feel like you're not letting people, even, even if it's not guilt, right? Because sometimes it can be guilt, but sometimes it's just, well, I just, I care about this person and I want to be their go-to person. I just don't think you're letting your emotions or them or how you feel about them, right, dictate how you're going to set these boundaries with your time. Okay? And because you do that, again, I love the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles really is the card of quality work. Quality time spent in a relationship. Quality time with yourself. Quality time. Quality, 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 right? I love the way that they just kind of sum that up. It's, it's really quite refreshing, like refreshing. I just feel like a breath of, of fresh air, right? A breath of fresh air. Like this is how I should be spending my time, right? This is, I shouldn't be working to the bone. I shouldn't be having to work so hard in you know this relationship or whatever this is for you. Like, I am quality. It's like, and if you're dating or something, like, it's not going out on a thousand dates. It's really seeing somebody for their quality and they see your quality, right? It's nice. It's very good. Show us clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? What is the message for Taurus? There we go. Abundance. There we go. What did I say in the beginning? Like, you don't have to put in all this time and effort to have the abundance. And it doesn't matter if I, we're talking about financial abundance and, and money and job or if we're talking abundance of love. You don't have to put in so much work, and I think you're realizing that. Great news is heading your way. Abundance is coming to you in many forms. Yes, Taurus, I like it very, very much. So with that being said, don't forget to book your reading or Reiki sessions before May 20th, before the half off expires. <clears throat> and all of my love, light and blessings to you, Taurus. Until next time.